Hello, awesome readers. Today we're going to be reading Good Night, Little Blue Truck, written by Alice Shirtle, illustrated in the style of Jill McElmory by John Joseph. I am taking all book requests. If you have a favorite book that you would like me to read, please send me your request. My email will be posted in the description below. Bumpity bump, down the road came Little Blue Truck with good friend Toad. Thunder crashing, lightning flashing, two good friends were homeward dashing. Such a wet and stormy night, their warm garage was a welcome sight. In they went and shut the door, but it wasn't very long before. Ma, said Goat, please, Little Blue, can I come in here with Toad and you? Cluck, said Hen, it's wet outside. I need a nice safe place to hide. Honk, said Goose. Don't care for lightning. Stormy nights are a little bit frightening. Moo, said Cow. Can I come in too? I feel safer here with you. Quack, said Duck. There's quite a crowd. Can I squeeze in? Are ducks allowed? Oink, said Pig. Is there room for me? I'm cold and wet as I can be. Beep, 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 said Little Blue. There's room for you and you and you. Everybody gather round. Thunder's such a grumbly sound. Clouds bump and tumble in the sky, but here inside we're warm and dry. And all the thirsty plants below will get a drink to help them grow. Close to blue, over and under, they listen to the rain and thunder. Duck said loud as he could quack it, Thunder's just a noisy racket. Boom, said Goat, it isn't scary. I was not afraid, not very. Just a noise, said Pig. No wonder, I'm not scared of a little thunder. After a while, the clouds blew on. The night was still, the storm was gone. Goat said, we feel better, Blue. It's easy to be brave with you. Pig said, I feel sleepy now. Let's all head for home, said Cow. Beep, said Blue. Just hop inside. All aboard for the bedtime ride. The rain had stopped and way up high, the moon was a smile in a starry sky. Good night, pig. Here's your pen. Good night, duck. Good night, hen. Good night, goat. You're home now. Good night, goose. Good night, cow. Horn went beep, engine purred, friendliest sounds you ever heard. Blue and Toad drove home together, two good friends in any weather. Toad lay down on his own small bed. Croak, good night, little Blue, he said. Blue gave one small sleepy beep, then little Blue Truck fell fast asleep. The end. Thank you so much for reading with me. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that we can read together again.